The shortcut I'm about to show you is linked in the description below and I made it so that you can feel like you have your own personal assistant whose sole job is to take notes, listen to you, and help you win. It unlocks something neither ChatGPT nor Siri currently do and other apps charge way too much for it. This on the other hand takes advantage of three apps you probably already have on your phone. Plus it's extremely customizable. Here's how it works. Whenever I'm planning, brainstorming, or really just have any problem that I need to think through, I can run this shortcut. It can even be something as simple as planning my day or week. I'll then choose new session, give it a name, and a voice memo will start. But as we'll see in a second, this is not just a regular voice memo. Instead, whenever you run this, I want you to pretend like you have a personal assistant right next to you taking notes. You can talk however you want, however long you want, and if, as you're talking, you realize there's something specific you want your personal assistant to do, tell them. Maybe something like, hey assistant, forget that last idea I just had, thanks assistant. Or something like, hey assistant, I really like that thumbnail idea, but can you help me think of a few titles to go along with it? Thanks assistant. Then continue on. Whenever you're done, go ahead and stop the voice memo and we're going to want to copy the transcription. We're then going to run the shortcut one more time. But this time, instead of new session, we're going to choose summarize copy transcription. ChatGPT will open and after pasting, the magic begins. Because we didn't just paste the transcription, the shortcut actually added a prompt in the beginning that makes ChatGPT infinitely more useful. We'll get a concise summary of all the important points we talked about. We'll get any action items that we need to take and any instructions we told our assistant to do in the voice memo will be done as well. And ChatGPT will be more than ready for follow-up questions with the entire context of your voice memo at its disposal. Hopefully you can see just how useful this is because I find journaling and writing things down just a little bit too tedious and slow, but also at the same time, I feel like thinking through problems just in my head is like way too chaotic. So this is a perfect middle ground because you can say your problems out loud, which forces you to be coherent, but you don't have to put in all the work of writing things down super slowly. And as you're about to see, I'm gonna show you how I built this and how you can customize it to your own needs. So let's go ahead and open it. And this is basically the shortcuts app. It's where you can, you know, make shortcuts. If you don't know, shortcuts are basically like a sequence of actions you can have your phone take. It's like programming, but like really high level so that it's it's like almost anybody can, can make it. So the shortcuts app is right here. We're going to go ahead and open it. And after adding it, you'll see a shortcut that looks like voice GPT here in the top left. I'm going to get rid of the four community and we can hit the three dots to go ahead and open it up and see how this is made. So the first action that we have is choose from menu with select. So actions can be added by going to the search actions at the bottom. And then if I do choose from menu, we'll see right here, this is choose from menu. And if I wanted to completely break this, I can go ahead and put this up top. And this is kind of the action, the first thing that will happen when we run this shortcut, but I'm gonna click X to get rid of it because I already filled it out and it looks like this. So if I click play here in the bottom right, it'll actually run the shortcut. And as we see here, it is reflecting what is in that first action. So it's gonna say select, and then we can choose new session or summarized copy transcription. And when you make this, basically we'll be able to choose with the actions that are going to run. So if I select new session, then these two actions right here are what are run. So, and then the shortcut just stops. So this will ask for text with the name, this meeting. And then I have a default here. If we click the arrow, it'll say brain dump. A little crude, you can feel free to change that if you want. And then once we get that, so here, let me show you live. We do new session, I can click it, brain dump, it's the pre-filled thing. I just have to hit X, fill in something different. If I wanna name it something different, like planning my week or figuring out emails or whatever, um, hit cancel. And then it will create a recording. The name will be the ask for input. So whatever we put as the name in the ask for input action will be put in as the name when we create the recording. So that little line there shows that there's information from the previous step getting fed into the create recording step. So that's how that works, pretty straightforward. And then the cooler one, of course, is the summarized copy transcription. So what does this do? Well, remember, after we already run the recording, so let's say right here, if, uh, what's a good one? Here, here's a bigger one here that I actually did a couple uh, minutes ago. We can hit the three dots. And remember, we copied the transcript, which by the way, you do need iOS 18 for this. Uh, it should work on all iPhones that have iOS 18. We'll see here when I start a new recording that Right now you can't see it, but you can swipe up. And if you make this recording full screen, you'll see in the bottom left, there is a like little icon for transcription. And it actually transcribes live with punctuation now, which is 
pretty impressive. Talk clearly when you do this. If you can not be outside, I think if you're outside and it's like really loud, the transcriptions might not work, unfortunately. And I've had mixed results with AirPods, so just caution there. But overall, it's been pretty darn good. Definitely good enough for ChatGPT to know what we're talking about and to be really good at understanding the meeting. So that is kind of where the transcription is coming from. And that's a new feature in iOS 18. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause because when we're done, we have the three dots right here where we can copy the transcript. Or of course, if we're right here at the main menu here where we have all of the voice memos, we can hit the three dots again and hit either view or copy transcript. So after we hit copy transcript, go back to the shortcuts here, it will get the clipboard, AKA it will get the transcript and then it will create this text block. This is where you are going to fill out your own personal information and customize this as you need. Here's what I have as a sort of starter template for us. You are an assistant and guide helping me understand and maximize the value from the transcript of my solo brainstorming session. And by the way, ChatGPT will also already have context about you and memories that you can fill out. So that's kind of like layered into this as well, but I added this for safety if you wanna be very explicit. This says, I am a blank, you know, put whatever you want here, just go ahead in here and edit it at your own liking. So just put, for me, I put something like, I'm a videographer who really needs to brainstorm content and you know strategy and here's where I am in my life and these are my goals. So you can go in here and just say whatever you are trying to get done, say you know whatever kind of style you prefer, whatever your branding is, anything like that. And then anything else, literally just, you know, just dump information about you that you would tell a personal assistant, say if you hired one. That is just kind of how you can sort of give ChatGPT context. And then we have the instructions for ChatGPT here. So first there are direct instructions, which is any text that is directed at you that starts with, hey assistant and ends with thanks assistant is to be treated with priority. So this basically allows us to, as we're ranting in the voice memo to just say, hey assistant, blah, 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 blah. And it's almost like we're switching modes and we're talking to ChatGPT. And this is how ChatGPT knows we're talking to it. We're telling it, hey, anything that's, sandwiched in between these two phrases are actually instructions for you, not part of me talking to myself. And then we'll have general content, which is basically just use your discretion for other content, understanding that the transcription may have errors. And now here's the response guidelines. Again, you can change this however you want. Prioritize specific instructions from the transcript. If no instructions are given, provide a concise summary of important points, action items, and you can include an assignee and a due date if they're available. And then finally, suggestions to improve my ideas and thought processes, highlighting any overlooked looked aspects. This is just what I like out of my answers. Again, customize these as you as you want, and I would love to hear your guys' suggestions in the comments. And then finally, a cute little follow-up here, which is after addressing the initial instructions, prompt me with questions or suggestions for further exploration. And then finally, the transcript and then the clipboard. That blue means it's a variable, so it's going to be the transcript that we just copied to our clipboard is going to be inserted here, and then we'll be able to copy this entire text block to our clipboard. Then that means when we paste it, it's going to be this entire thing, including the transcription into ChatGPT, which is the final step here. Start a conversation with ChatGPT. So to show you explicitly right here, one last time, I'm going to go ahead and here, we're going to copy this five minute transcription from before of a brain dump I had, and then we're going to run it and we're going to choose summarize copy transcription. Sorry, that's my laundry. And then it's going to open ChatGPT. We're going to hit paste. And there we go. We have the full transcript right here. And if I can just scroll up, goodness gracious, ChatGPT. Well, I can't scroll up. Let me go ahead and hit send. Now we'll see up here. We have this entire thing. I didn't fill out the template version, but instead of who you are, it's going to actually have any of the information you fill out here. So there's the whole instructions. And then finally, we're gonna see at the bottom here, there's the transcript. And in quotes, it's just the five minutes of me talking like a crazy person to myself. And with that, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Let me know if you have any suggestions for improving this. And if you found this useful, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. There's plenty more awesome stuff on the way and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.